meteorologist David Burgett. And today will be a great day to stop by here for the toy drive, I will say that at the least. And this week, it's kind of felt like a long week, at least for me, maybe for you. But in terms of weather, we've seen a lot happening over the last week. Just last weekend, we saw our one of our first snows for the end of November here and for the month of November. And that was earlier th this month, at, earlier this week on the 26th into the 27th. Really, we saw our first snowfall here in Harmony in a Minnesota and then we saw frigid temperatures later this week on Thursday the 28th and that actually left us with some of our lakes that are going to be frozen some of our ponds and some cool formations there and the lake here from Mama Drone in was on the Wisconsin border and we even saw the northern lights here over the course of this week for one or two days so it's been a lot in terms of weather and we got so cold this week actually the International Airport here in Rochester registered our lowest temperature of the season so far at zero degrees and actually we didn't see a temperature at least zero degrees or below since February 24th at negative 11 degrees. So a lot happening with the weather this week, just rounding that out for you. And we're seeing temperatures that are a little bit on the cooler side and colder side this morning at 20 degrees. Haven't warmed up too much yet with the sun starting to rise here and overhead for today. We are going to be seeing temperatures into the um, lower 20s and then into the teens there in Red Wing and La Crosse. So colder temperatures this morning. All, a lot of cloud coverage this morning is starting to fizzle on out and kind of move towards western Wisconsin. Our next weather maker is going to be a low pressure system that's sitting off here near the panhandle of Texas and Oklahoma. This is going to track more northeastward into the Chicago, Illinois area and even into Missouri as it makes its way through tonight into tomorrow morning. We could see some light snow in some of more of our eastern counties. So for today, you can expect some mostly cloudy and throughout we get more into the afternoon hours and calmer conditions with those light winds overnight. We are going to be seeing that chance for light snow for some more of our eastern counties and south of I-90. And then next week, we're going to see a considerable warming trend in terms of our high temperatures by Wednesday and Thursday next week. So temperatures this morning are going to be into the mid to, mid to upper 20s across the region. According to this model, as we go through into the afternoon, those winds will change more to the southeast, keeping our temperatures in into the mid to upper 30s across the area, almost said 50s, not 50s, and we are going to see that snow really start to filter in according to this model run um, around midnight tonight, and this is going to continue to build through the morning hours in with Rochester all the way down through northeast Iowa in ter terms of more of our eastern border counties there. So that's what you kind of expect for that snowfall. It'll all clear out for tomorrow, and then we are going to be seeing temperatures tomorrow afternoon and evening about where we are going to be for today in the mid 30s. So again, we're going to see some straight up isolated chances for some snow in more of our eastern counties. Another system will roll through on Monday night, potentially giving us another chance for some stray snowfall across the region. And we're going to be hitting a warming trend here next week. We're going to, the Climate Prediction Center is predicting it for us to be above average in terms of our temperatures all across the Midwest here. So that's a good, I mean, good thing if you like warmer temperatures. But we are going to be seeing that gradual warm up really hit on Wednesday next week into Thursday, where it could be 16 to 15 degrees above average in terms of those high temperatures. But for today, we are going to be seeing temperatures going to be into above average into the mid to upper 30s, building cloud coverage throughout today. Tomorrow morning, we can see some early snow before we clear out and get a little bit more less cloud coverage in the forecast for you there. And over the course of this week, it'll look pretty nice besides the snow chance and then the warmer temperatures I think a lot of people will like. Yeah, no, the warmer temperatures will be nice, especially if people didn't get the Christmas lights up already. Maybe that's their last last little window before maybe the snow comes and it gets a lot more colder, but keep that snow on your radar just for the roads in case they get slick. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah take it slow and steady. <laughs> yes. All right. Thanks, David.